In the world of data, especially big data, there are several file formats, of which Avro and Parquet are two main formats that often used. I'm George Poulinat, and in this video we will explore some key features of the two file formats and figure out which file format to use and when. These days data come in several sizes, at different rates and different types. In big data terms these are known as volume, velocity, and veracity. Data engineers these days has to figure out how to handle these data more efficiently and effectively than ever, especially if your organization is using cloud-based data lakes. How data is stored, transmitted, and processed will affect your total cost of ownership. The speed at which data comes in and how soon it needs to persist at the file system determines the right speed. Also, the speed at which data is consumed by different applications and stakeholders determines the read speed. The space used at rest and in the transmission is also a key factor. For example, if you are trying to access data using Amazon Athena, then you are billed for how much data, in storage size, that gets scanned. Ultimately, how the data is to be presented to the end users like the analyst or data scientist or even some application governs the format of your data. While Parquet and Avro store data in binary format, which means not human readable, they have considerable differences in the way the data is formatted. There are other technical features that make them different. We will explore some of the key features to understand them and make an appropriate decision for different use cases. Avro is an open source data serialization system that helps with data exchange between systems, programming languages, and processing frameworks. Avro is a raw based file format. At a basic level, row stores are great for transaction processing. Column stores are great for highly analytical query models. Row stores can write data very quickly, whereas a column store is awesome at aggregating large volumes of data for a subset of columns. Downstream systems can easily retrieve table schemas from files. What this means is there is no need to store the schemas separately in an external meta store. Avro stores the schema in JSON format, making it easy to read and interpret by any program. Avro files include markers that can be used to split large data sets into subsets suitable for Apache MapReducer processing. Easily reading and writing partition data without any extra configuration. Just pass the columns you want to partition on, just like you would for Parquet. Avro support compression. This can be done by specifying the type of compression to use when writing Avro out to disk. The supported types are uncompressed, snappy, and deflate. You can also specify the deflate level. Avro comes with RPC support included, making it ideal for distributed data processing. In distributed computing, a remote procedure call is when a computer program causes a procedure to execute in a different address space, commonly on another computer on a shared network, which is coded as if it were a normal or local procedure call, without the programmer explicitly coding the details for the remote interaction. Park A, an open source file format for Hadoop stores nested data structure in a flat columnar format. Unlike row based formats such as CSV or Avro, Apache Parquet is column oriented, meaning the values of each table column are stored next to each other rather than those of each record. In Parquet, metadata, including schema and structure, is embedded within each file, making it a self describing file format. In Parquet, compression is performed column by column and it is built to support flexible compression options and extendable encoding schemas per data type. For example, different encoding can be used for compressing integer and string data. Parquet is a high-performance file format. The amount of data scan will be way smaller and will result in less I.O. usage. Both Avro and Parquet are well supported in programming languages that are preferred by data scientists and data engineers like Python and R. In this slide, we have a common library used in Python to read and write Avro and Parquet files, respectively. So, which one to use? The short answer is it depends. Avro is a raw based storage format, whereas Parquet is a columnar storage format. If your use case typically scans or retrieves all of the fields in a row in each query, Avro is usually the best choice. In other words, Avro is more suitable for event based systems. Parquet is much better for analytical querying. That is, reads and querying are much more efficient than writing. Write operations in Avro are better than in Parquet. If your dataset has many columns, and your use case typically involves working with a subset of those columns rather than entire records, Parquet is optimized for that kind of work. Parquet is more suited for batch processing systems like analytic dashboards that summarize data. Avro is much matured than Parquet when it comes to schema evolution. Parquet only supports schema append whereas Avro supports a much featured schema evolution that is adding or modifying columns. We will conclude this session by describing a typical production setup. There will be events or transactions 
like Clickstream or social media feeds which are best handled by Avroforma. A streaming system like Kafka streams those events in Avroforma. Then some ETL is performed on those streams using a Lambda or Glue and dump the data as Parquet format in an S3 bucket. The analysts and data scientists can read this data very fast in bulk or batches.